A story about a different race of warriors. Their muscles were strong and their hearts were tough, but their skin was soft. Serving no country, obeying no laws, loyal only to each other. Their name inspired fear and respect. Those were the Amazons.
let us ascend to new heights, charting paths through seas of data. Peer into the myths, those age-old tales that have captivated hearts and minds. In the halls of our Congress, may a legacy of gods and heroes inspire narratives that propel us towards a new era. The machines, our steadfast allies in the odyssey of innovation, remind us of both our reach and our limits. With each tool, each technological marvel, we echo Prometheus, who bestowed fire upon humanity as we forge new tools that reshape our world. Here in Athens, where echoes of the past meet the promise of tomorrow, we unite mind, myth, and machine. Together, they light our way forward as the stars once guided sailors through unknown seas. Join us, thinkers and visionaries, at SOMR Congress 2024. Let us embark on a voyage of discovery as grand as the quests of the ancients. Thank you for heeding the call. Our journey begins now. Let our dialogue of discovery begin. Calimera. 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 Carlos Irfate, which means good morning and welcome. Good morning, colleagues, and a special welcome to ESOMAR members joining us today. Thank you for this so energetic start. It's been very, very inspiring. And now it is my privilege to officially open the Congress 2024 here in Athens. Welcome. I am delighted to welcome you to our Congress in the historic city of Athens, a place where history, culture, and innovation converge. As the cradle of democracy and a beacon of knowledge and art, Athens is a truly fitting venue for our gathering. I am confident that over the next three days, our esteemed speakers will illuminate the rich tapestry of mythology, philosophy, and arts that Greece has generously contributed to Western culture. On this occasion, I will refrain from my passion for storytelling and wait to be happily surprised by the wit and creativity of our speakers. And before we begin, I want to acknowledge the recent fires in Greece. Our thoughts are with those affected, and we are grateful to be able to gather here to, despite the challenges of the summer. In solidarity with the people of Greece, we have organized a special initiative during this Congress. So please take the time to contribute to a mural we have arranged, located in level minus one between the two rooms, other rooms of conference rooms. And once completed, it will be auctioned silently and with all proceeds going to WWF Greece Wildfire Emergency, supporting recovery efforts in this beautiful country. I would also like to extend special thanks to This Is Athens Convention and Visitors Bureau. Your support and contribution have been instrumental in elevating our Congress. To continue with our opening, it is my honor to invite our Greek representative, the ESOMAR Greek representative, Angela Satopoulou, to extend a warm welcome on behalf of our host country. Angela and the Greek Association, CEDEA, have been great partners for the success of this Congress. And I can tell you, thank you, Angela. I can tell you that I have never seen such a big Greek delegation at Congress, so thank you so much. And thank you so much, CEDEA and Angela, for making it happen. Thank you. Thank Stage you. Stage thank you, Well, Calimera. 
on my behalf, you have learned this word by now, I'm sure. Good morning to all. I would like to, uh, to welcome uh, all of you, the attendees, the speakers, the presenters, the exhibitors, the sponsors, the partners, the ESOMAR Council, and most of all, the ESOMAR team that made today possible. Thank you, ESOMAR team. <laughs> I would like to welcome the Insights community, a community that sheds light to many issues and questions at all levels in many fields. I would like to welcome you to a country that is known for its light. So allow me to enlighten you a little bit about our country by making bridges, bridges between the past and the present, bridges between myths and facts, bridges between ancient Greece and modern Greece. So, uh, in the, um, uh, Homer's epic narrates Ulysses' journeys through the seas in order to reach uh, home after the Trojan War. Did you know that um, Greek ship ownership controls 30% of the international tanker's fleet? 60% of the European and 20% of the, um, of the international capacity. While to make a sustainability point, 35% of the Greek fleet is equipped with energy efficient technologies. From business to art, uh, in ancient Greece, uh, Aristophanes, Euripides, Aeschylus, uh, Sophocles, made comedies and tragedies, of course, but also produced a whole legacy of concepts to be adopted in many fields, like Hebrews or Deus Ex Machina. Today, in Athens, and not only, many international festivals take place where artists from all over the world come to add their uh, pebble to the development of theater, music, and dance. And to name the most famous of all, in uh, 2023, in the Athens and uh, Epidavrus Festival, 2,200 artists perform, while uh, 240,000 people attended. And at an individual level, we have artists that were well known and they perform at an international scene, to name just two of them. Dimitris Papayoanou, with his breakthrough opening in the Athens Olympic Games and his unique performances, and the most famous, Lanthimos, Lanthimos with his awarded movies. Well, let's go to the gods. The god of gods, a Jews, Xenius Jews, had a role of protecting the strangers. In 2023, inbound travelers reached 36 million, while 13 million visited archaeological sites and almost 6 million visited the museums. And nobody knows how many visited the 227 inhabited islands of Greece. Well, from traveling to the basics. In Pnyx, uh, as early as 507 before Christ, there was a hill in Athens that the Athenians gathered their popular assemblies. Um, so they make this site, Pnyx, as one of the cornerstones for the creation and the development of democracy. In, uh, according to the Economist uh, Democracy Index 2023, Greece is one of the um, of the full democratic countries worldwide, while to come to our sector, uh, in 2023, approximately 200 opinion polls were published in Greece. I won't make the bridge between ancient and uh, contemporary Olympic Games. Our friends from France did that for us. Thank you, France. Allow me to make one more bridge, a bridge between today's highly technological world and the ancient world. 
Did you know that um, in an island of Adikithira, uh, uh, the mechanism of Adikithira was recovered, which is the most complex mechanism, the engineering piece in the ancient world. It has not been fully decoded. However, <clears throat> uh, it was used, as we know, it was used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses decades in advance. To many, this is known as the first analog computer. To be seen, if you wish, to, in the National Archaeological Museum in Athens. And talking about Athens, last but not least, you are in a city that is well known for its vibe, something that is reflected in the increasing number of digital nomads, because Athens is one of the top um, cities to be preferred by remote workers. It is a city that is full of, neighborhood, of neighborhoods, from the Athenian Riviera by the seashore to Pagrati, a vivid neighborhood, from Plaka at the full hills of, of uh, Parthenon to Exarchia, a historic neighborhood with a lot of energy and vibe. We, the Greek Insights community, would like to welcome you all to Athens. Thank you. I, st I started with a white shirt. By Tuesday night, I'll be all in white. <laughs> thank you so much, thank Angela. You, thank you, what a fantastic bridge between history and today. That's been fantastic. Thank you so much, Angela. Thank you. And and now I want to invite a person that you know very well. Please welcome to the stage, Ray Pointer, President of SMR. Calimera, and to Angela for that wonderful welcome, Everisto, Everisto Poli. Um, it's wonderful to be in Athens, isn't it? And it's such an honor and a privilege for me to do this opening address, which I will try to sew together some themes because we want to combine high thinking with practical applications. That's what we're looking from, from a conference. And I want to do that by suggesting two dimensions that we can use to help make sense of the concept of the Congress and how we are going to take value and how we're going to add value. The first of those dimensions is time from ancient to today to the future. The second dimension I will share and talk about is breadth. From west to east, from north to south. So let's pick up where Angela started a moment ago, and we will go back two and a half thousand years, 500 BCE. And Angela mentioned the arts, really important. I come more from the other side of the brain, and I'm going to talk about the sciences. Aristotle, Pythagoras, Socrates, Plato, Herodotus. They created concepts which we will be using at this Congress. Many of the things we will be talking about in Western philosophy are based on that cradle two and a half thousand years ago. Often when people think about Herodotus, they think about the invention of history, the moving away from yarns and myths to history. But I like to think of Herodotus as the first ethnographer who examined lives and wrote about them so we could understand cultures. And we can see that line. But the line of wisdom and knowledge didn't jump from Athens two and a half thousand years ago to Athens 2024 with market researchers. It was very circuitous. First of all, it was adopted by the Romans, and it was improved by the Romans. We think of people like Sextus Empiricus, who taught us the benefit of skepticism, of observational sciences, and gave us the word empirical, which is useful today. But 1,500 years ago, Rome fell. The West lost all that wisdom, all that knowledge. Some of it was burnt, some of it was hidden away in monasteries. It was kept alive. The baton was picked up by the Islamic world. 
particularly by the Abbasid Caliphate. Those books, those writings, all that information was stored in places like the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. But it wasn't just stored, it was developed. So thinkers like Al-Kindi took it on and moved it forward. And it came back into the West about 800 years ago. And it's been developed and it's developed and it's moved forward. And our job is to use that knowledge and to take it forward and to adapt it and say, how does artificial intelligence, behavioral economics, all of these concepts, how do we add our piece to this pattern of knowledge and wisdom and we take it forward? So as you're going around, try to find 10 things from the exhibition, from the presentations, from your discussions with each other that you are going to take back to your home countries and places and you are going to help develop and move the needle forward so we continue to advance. The second dimension that I mentioned was breadth. If we go back two and a half thousand years ago and we leave Athens, let's go to China. Confucius was creating a different insight, a different lens two and a half thousand years ago. We go across to India and Buddha was developing the Four Noble Truths, another very different paradigm. Western philosophy is not the only philosophy and we need to be aware of more changes. We go back to China. Sun Tzu was writing The Art of War, still read, still taught today. If we jump to the Americas, the Olmec civilization was coming to an end, but it was lay laying the groundations with its wonderful buildings and writings and calendars for the Maya and for the Aztec. If we go to Africa, we're going to see the Nok civilization two and a half thousand years ago, bringing in different engineering techniques, metalworking, laying the foundations for the West African kingdoms to come. Why is there an SMR? because countries and cultures differ. That is the fundamental reason why SMR is so important. At this Congress, most of you will meet more people from different countries than you will meet in the rest of the year combined. Get outside of your bubble. Don't keep talking to people you already know from countries you're familiar with. Make sure that you explore those different lenses. I've already had conversations with people from Mongolia, from Lebanon, from Nigeria, from Kenya, from South Africa, Chile, Peru, Korea, China, Japan. Try to meet people from 10 different countries. Explore the presentations, the exhibitions for what is the same in your culture and your background and what is different. Why do different lenses come up with different solutions? What can you learn from those and adapt and take them forward? So those are my two dimensions, my two ta challenges of 10. 10 things to take back home that you're going to share and move the baton of knowledge forward and at least 10 different countries where you're going to meet people and explore differences. So I'm going to start, start, finish, actually, with a simple tip about how to navigate Congress. It's too big. You know, when you first go to buffets, you try to eat a bit of everything, and you realize that you can't. You cannot see every presentation. Some of them are happening at the same time. Even if you sat non-stop through presentations, you would not remember everything you see. Discussions are the key to embedding this knowledge to enable you to process it. Talk about what you've seen. Go to the presenters and ask them for clarifications. Ask them, how would you do this in my country? How could I apply it with my sort of problems? Talk to fellow delegates about what they thought about that presentation, what they thought was the best piece, what they enjoyed. Discussions should be your number one priority. If you're out there talking to one of the exhibitors or talking to another delegate and a session starts, maybe you want to carry on doing that conversation. 
You can't see everything. You want to see good stuff, but you want to have those discussions. So I urge you, enjoy Congress. It's a privilege, all of us here, it's a great privilege for us to be able to come to places like this and be part of the change you want to see. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, thank you, Ray, for this journey through history. And well, just, for, just reinforcing his words, all the sessions in this stage are being live streamed on LinkedIn. And you have the recording of all sessions on video. So then you can visit, revisit them. So yeah, all presentations will be, will be recorded. So I would like to thank, to take some moment, let's take some moment to acknowledge and express our gratitude to our sponsors without whom this Congress would, would not be possible. So let's start with our platinum sponsor, Getwai. Thank you for your unwavering support and commitment to our cause. Next, we send our gratitude to our silver sponsors, Dineta, Quest Mindshare, and Similar Web. Your contributions are invaluable to us. We also thank our bronze sponsors, Borderless Access, Synth, Black Swan, and Social Trade. Your support is deeply appreciated. And we also extend our thank to our other sponsors and partners, including Global NR, Market Probe, our water sponsor, and Murray Hill International, our back sponsor. Finally, we'd like to thank our Wi-Fi sponsor, Virtual Incentives. Thank you so much. And now, how many of you have not downloaded our app? Because the app is the essential piece of connection in this Congress. So, is this your essential companion for the Congress, your networking tool, session, session guide, voting device? We are going to vote here. A map for exploring different levels and a social platform to connect and share experiences with peers. Be sure to download it. If you want to connect with your peers, you know that you can check the mobile phone, mobile device, and you get this connection. So download the app because it's going to be essential for this uh, Congress. And one of the things SOMR prides itself on is recognizing the future of our industry. That's why we have our YES program, the Young SOMR Society program, to elevate and amplify individuals who are bound to pave the road to our industry success. Through this program, we invite students to join us and contribute to this event throughout these three days. Let's take a moment to recognize the bright future of our industry. And I invite all the students present in this room to stand up and just, you can, you can see who they are. So. Ariana, Ariana, Elizabeth, Dimitrios, Eda, Rachel, Marlena, Getrud, Immaculate, Dimitrios, Angelina, Muhammad, Tatiana, and Beatrice. Please take the moment to connect with them. They are the future of our industry. Let's share experiences. Let's take them into our world because we need this uh, fresh inspiration from the youth. Uh, so please take your time to connect with them. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs>